The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the Health Hip Hop Show. Welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. Well, we're missing one of our two. BT Awards, passing all the excitement in there in the building. Holding it down. And, uh, he'll be back with us. He'll be back with us soon. But you got me, LP, in the building, the rock, always. And the God Complex MC himself. Yippee! What it do? Yeah. Said it. You forgot Kiefer Smotherland, bro. Let me get to him. Hold up. Ah, oh, sorry, up. damn. My bad. So, Sean of God, Father Sean, what up? Basically, also, Keith is smothering this out. It's, uh, at a gig tonight at the club, so it's spinning tonight. So. Shout out to him, you know what I mean? He'll be back with us soon as well. But yeah, we, 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 talk to him, Sean. I don't know. I was just feeling that break. Hey, LA, welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop, Sean and LP. We're doing a little flip, you know. Happy BT weekend to you, LA. Y'all doing, y'all looking good. Y'all doing a good job. BT then came downtown, they done fucked up the city, they done brought every celebrity down. They got the blue carpet out there for Nipsey Hustle. So I wanna thank y'all for being beautiful. We're gonna get into some of the nominees, we're gonna get into some of the songs that's up. We're gonna talk that talk. We got a great guest in K3. He in the building, he was on time. So I just wanted to welcome y'all graciously. It is your host, shout out to Kiefer Smotherland, holding down Hollywood. Shout out to our love, Aisha Nubi, and holding down the BET Awards. You know we had to be in that thing. I am the sacrificial lamb, me and LP. We did all our shit yesterday and the day before to make sure we showed our presence to the BET Awards. So if you're out there, if you're watching, make sure you, you mute them on commercial, you tune in to us and bounce back and forth, and make sure you comment, let us know who won, who you want to win, and call us up, 323-293-3375. LP, what we on? Alright, alright, welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squally! Of course it's me and Sean today, you know what I mean? got me and Sean Argus in the building, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to Aisha Nugent, who's at DJ okay. Wars. Shout out to uh, Keith Smotherland. Shout out to DJ uh, Keith Smotherland for spinning, spinning at the club tonight, you know what I'm saying? Well, we got Sean Argus, we got me, myself, LP, and Sean Argus in the building, you know what I'm saying? Talk to me, God, who we got in the building? Okay, welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad, Sean and LP. But we got a guest, you know how we do it, we bring the latest, the greatest, the poppinest artist you can find to give them that platform and talk their shit. So I want to introduce to y'all the one and only official K3. What's the deal, bro? Glad to be here, man. Thanks for having me, bro. I'm sorry for dragging you away from the BT <laughs> Awards, bro. I know, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, nah, no, it's all but good, But you fulfilled man. your obligation, and I want to thank you again for being here, being on time. All day. And fulfilling your duty as a musician. Man. Yeah, man, it's a it's a grind, man. Fuck I, the awards when you got work to do, right? Yeah, got work to do, man. Cause a lot of times you be in situations and you always want to be in the spotlight, but you don't understand. A lot of artists don't understand you gotta get the work done while that's going on. The so work. when that time comes, you know you be ready. So let me again thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. The only hip hop show, Sean August. We got LP in the back pressing them goddamn buttons. And I wanna ask you, we're gonna start off rude, we're gonna start off harsh. So I wanna ask you who the fuck is K3? Ah man. Young cat man from 40th and Boulevard out of Naptown, man. Uh Naptown. Naptown. Yeah. Of course. Naptown all day. Um just a young inspired dude, man, who's came up hard, had a lot of grinding to do. Um, had a kid when I was 21, so I'm a young parent. Happy belated Father's Day, thank, brother. Thank yes, you, sir. thank you. So, um, you know, so just somebody that came out of the hood, got out, went to school, just wanted something different for myself, um, understood my talents, and um, took opportunities when other people weren't taking them, mm -hmm. so... That's how and I got when, me when you say talents, elaborate on that for the people who may not know you and haven't tuned into you just yet. Yeah, yeah, so I actually do a lot. So um, for even for me to get to where I am today... Um, I started doing like uh, I went to school for computer programming, so okay. um, I got my my bachelor's in that. Shout out um, from Purdue, and then 
Um, I got into a lot of photography and videography. So I was uh, shooting music videos and doing photography for years, uh, developing skills with that. I thought that was going to be like my main source of income and things like that. I knew I always wanted to be a singer. Okay. And I knew I had the talent to be a singer. But um, coming out of Indianapolis is really hard because it's not a hub for music. So um, I had to grind that out. I, so what I did is I used my camera to get me through the door and music. Um, so I was in school going back and forth doing gigs and, and and all kinds of crazy stuff just constantly going going wouldn't get no sleep um hell half the time i had to meet with my professors to let me slide on exams Speak, and yeah. stuff. you Speak. know it's real stuff Speak. man negotiating yeah negotiating negotiating yep. them grades man you know? so um yeah man i just i just grinded that out and then eventually things started to come to pass started getting on some ind- independent tours mm-hmm. while i was in college and things like that so just a hard worker man and and and, and i keep hearing you say work work so now work. when 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 we when you wake up on a day-to-day go through some of the things you may have to do at you consider work when you when it comes to your artistry yeah man so a lot of things that i do that um people probably don't even realize like i do a lot of you first first and foremost you got to take care of yourself man 100. um because health is wealth and so what i do to train myself is um, i do a lot of running but what i do is um i sing my songs while i'm running uh, because go. yeah, because a lot of times, you know, it's great when you're in a studio, but there is such thing as a studio artist. You know, there is another half of that. You actually got to perform your songs. Yeah. Especially for a singer, it's, it's a lot more difficult. You got to be able to move and still hit those notes on beat, on point. You know what I mean? So you got to train yourself to work out and be moving and singing your stuff at the same time. And that's a bar because I was told that L.A. Reid. He made Usher run laps around his big ass pool, yep. nonstop singing his records, yep. and that's something. I'm an avid runner, you know. Yeah. I love running. Like yeah. weekends, Saturdays, and Sundays, hell no. Fuck y'all, get away from me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But five days a week, I gotta get up. I gotta do it. But yeah, one yeah. of the things that I love is working out, how it makes me feel, but also getting that alone time and being with me personal with music. Yeah. So I want to ask you, do we, we just on the first la- layer. We just talking about health. You wake up and you work and yeah. staying healthy. So what's a soundtrack to your workouts when you getting it in? And if you don't mind, what <laughs> are you? What? crossfit is it just after honestly, running you just honestly straight running? like I, it's funny that you say that i just went through a transition because i was um for a long time i've been working out since i was in college so staying active and things like that but i've always that shit ain't nothing to you now yeah but i've always listened to like trap music and stuff okay. like that when i'm working out but then i got uh, my boy uh he's, he's he's real into his fitness and things like that he's always listened to edm when he's working out i feel that and so i'm just like man let me just i swear to god like two months ago i'm like man let me try this out man whole nother level of working out when you listen to that man i was just like because i don't i don't normally listen to that yeah. you know what i mean but when you're working out so you just search edm and just hit play yeah man get on your apple music man type in uh edm playlist just, playlist. just play a playlist and that shit how you going i so, tried to work go ahead go ahead no i was saying so what, what was the first song in mind in the, as an edm um um genre <sighs> it, it was still in the trap field um for the most part so it's it's take it's taking a little like trap rap and putting that edm music behind it so you can still vibe with the music or whatever you know what i mean and then um yeah it it, it, it works perfectly man okay. it works okay. perfectly and did you edm trap yeah <laughs> i don't want to throw shade but <laughs> being an avid runner um i tried to make a certain artist my uh soundtrack to my run yeah. and it didn't it actually took away from my run that happens people throw i always kind of throw shade at the artist so i'm not gonna name drop yeah yeah but yeah. it was like i'll tell you after the show yeah, but yeah. it was like what the <laughs> fuck it made me feel like my stamina was like like i was out of shape you yeah. know and it may be true but it made me feel more out of shape because it was just so yawny and yeah. oh my god but anyway we're gonna get deep again thank y'all for tuning in official k3 is here we got lp in the back pressing the buttons i want to give a special shout out to the poetess for giving us a platform to do our thing talk our shit she really believed in us and we do not want to let her down so we want to bring a whole new flavor shout out to Kiefer smothering shout out to aisha nubian Sh- holding down the motherfucking awards man the only hip-hop show we branching out we doing great things and what we are going to talk about since the awards we're going to talk about some of these categories lp we, we cool with a break right now how you feel 
Uh, well, let's talk about these things real quick, and then we're going to all right, break. All right, all right, all right. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go into some of these nominees, some of these awards for the BT weekend. Everybody and their mama is downtown right now, yeah. so I'm gonna pass it off to LP. LP, talk your shit. And let's get into it. Okay, so basically this. Okay, I'm gonna show you this picture that I that I saw, and I'm on HipHopDX.com, man, about the news shit. So basically, there was some um, some shit that was thrown around, like a lot of rumors, and somebody got tagged in their car in a in their house. Somebody tagged the word Crips in black letters. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. in black in black spray print. On somebody's house. So this is this is the the photo that I was that I saw a couple of days ago, mm. and um, I'm just gonna read to you the backstory of what happened. Please. A neighborhood in Newton County, Georgia, was tagged with alleged gang graffiti earlier this week, according to WSB TV Atlanta. At least three homes and a car were hit with black spray black spray paint. Neighbor Mary Smith was shot. I couldn't believe when I saw it, cause we don't have that in this neighborhood, Smith said. It's quiet out here. <laughs> but there was another issue. The word Crips was written in messy cursive, calling it its on, on, authenticity. Yeah, ain't no real question. Crip doing that shit. Yeah. Naturally, Twitter erupted with jokes and the subject became a trending topic on a social media platform. Now, <laughs> last time that I checked, None of the niggas I know, and not even myself, would tag this type of shit on on fucking anybody's houses. Who fucking does that? What is that? Cursive? If yo, if 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 it's if it's okay, let me let me. I'm gonna say this because I was a member of a Crips one at one point. Talk that talk, cuz I can't speak on that shit because that's that's in the past. But (laughs) the thing was, if you were from a, if you really from a set. You had to bang your hood. You got to rep where you come from. You had to have a... It was a code that you had to live by. And you had to tag certain... A certain... Uh, a certain wording and a certain a certain thing. A certain way. It's a certain... certain way. Hand, so hand, is it a certain... What, it's a certain... Uh, handwriting? Is that what you call it? Right. So okay. if it's not West Side or East Side or one of the essays or writing or have initial... Na- um, Letter initials or the number right behind it or your and your name on it, that is not us. That talk is not that talk, huh? <laughs> We don't do this type of shit. Listen. Niggas don't do this type of shit. I'm gonna tell you right now. That I is not said us. These we don't straight. do this type of Listen, shit. Listen, I ain't never seen no tag in cursive. Ain't never, nobody hell. What no. is that cursive or just cursed? I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck that is. That shit terrible. That don't even look like a cursive to Career. me. Bro. Yeah. It looked like somebody tried to make that man. Some fake ass it's probably one of the listen. It's probably little, man. It's probably one of them little white boys. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whoever did it, we just fucking did exactly what they wanted us to do by right. talking about that. Yeah, ass. we did. We, you know what I'm yeah, saying? They got what they wanted. Anything right. for clout? Hey, it is. They with clout. It's all yeah. for clout. That's what they're doing. So moving on to another um, another topic. So YG just dropped his album for real, for real. Shout out to months, YG. I mean, a month yeah. ago. You know, I think he's performing at the BC Awards, right? Yeah, he performing tonight and he performed on Friday night at the BT Experience, which was crazy. Just to quote, he did say BT he, they was like dead in the crowd. You know LA crowds be dead. So yeah, yeah. At, at, YG turned them up. He banged on BT. Y'all acting bougie. Turn up. <laughs> and he was also like, "Hey BT, rest in peace to my nigga Nip, but make sure y'all give me my award when I'm alive." Boy. Go ahead, LP. So basically, well, that is going on. So he was cited, uh, he was arrested for reckless driving. And uh, I'm going to read a little bit. So YG found himself surrounded by cops in Hollywood during the 2019 BT Awards weekend. According to TMZ, fuck TMZ, (laughs) the Compton Compton Bread rapper was cited for reckless driving and briefly put in handcuffs after tensions flared during the traffic stop in the early hours of Sunday morning, June 23rd, which is this morning, actually. The 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 FDT creator was allegedly (laughs) speeding and weaving between lanes on the Sunset Strip while making his way to the One Oak nightclub for an appearance. Mm. 
Los Angeles County Sheriff's de deputies pulled, pulled him over and claimed YG became upset and uncooperated, uncooperated and used profanities towards, towards the de deputies. That's me. I mean, nobody, did he, did he nobody, make nobody, it? Nobody talks to the police. So did he make like, it to one out? I was right at one out last night. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more. So YG was also accused of riling up the crowd and the at gathered, gathered at the scene. Oh, wow. Video of the incident was shows. Well, we're not going to show that. Shows law enforcement uh, officers and bystanders join at each other. I mean, at each other before one cop attempts to de-escalate the situation. So the deputies ended up with a, giving him a sobriety test, which he passed, and he was released. So he mm. was good. But guys, hey, if you're gonna drive home, do not fucking drink. Please. That shit ain't cool. Christoph this drunk alone. driving shit is. It, can get you locked up it can get you fucking tickets this doi shit ain't no joke and it definitely not i need no to joke. drive safe definitely you know not. What i mean you can only have two minimum i'm not saying i'm not not trying to like tell people what to do but trying to get two minimum of drinking drinking beer and alcohol type minimum of, of two two minimum drinks. of two so basically minimum two so you can drive home safely so you can go and do, go about your diet you know, or listen, you can just I'm not driving. Me. I mean, it's like it's either either I'm not driving. I mean, if I'm if I'm as big as YG, I'm not driving. And then on top of that, if I if I was driving, I'm getting that young Uber XL man. Facts. <laughs> like, if he was lit as he was when he was performing, first off, before we d discuss the negative shit, YG, I just want to congratulate you, bro, for being who you are and having as many fucking hit records as you do. Oh, bro. Big facts, big facts, nigga. I don't know Niggas was calling you fat Niggas was calling you drunk right. But when you motherfucking Performed your set brother You held it down Like a real nigga And you have been doing that For a long time So I want to respect you And I also want to respect you And tell you this Personally from my heart I know you going through Something crazy With the loss of your brother We don't want to lose Another one Alright so make sure You can keep All your P's and Q's In line You know We out to get got In yeah, any, any, yeah. any Any way Any angle Let's not give them A fucking reason man yeah. Facts. And I want to talk to you. You at One Oak. It's BET weekend. What was something that you did? What was something that you saw? How many autographs did you sign? Talk to me. Can you was pop? <laughs> I, I, man, I'm telling you, I, I've been I've been on go ever mm -hmm. since I've been here. Go. Like, on go. How long you been here? Uh, I've been, I got here no, Tuesday. So you're not visiting? Are you visiting nah, nah, or are you I'm, home? I'm, I'm, I'm visiting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you're going back. I, are you a Colts fan, by the way? No. You don't fuck with football? Uh, no, nah, I fuck with football. I'm. I'm not gonna say what team I respect. Right, right, cool, cool. <laughs> I respect the man. I respect the man that knows when the you know what I mean. I'm not gonna say the team. So you right. you just here for the weekend? Yeah. Well, I'm here. I'm here for most of the week, but I okay. come out here um, pretty much every month. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Yeah, my teams is out here and stuff like that. So um, when I need to get my my press runs and my shoots and all that good stuff, you in, gotta come to Hollywood. I'm, come, I'm back and forth all the time. So, Hollywood yeah. or the NY, you gotta do it, especially in that. You, my man is paying. Where airlines you be flying, man? Bro, God, never mind. Keep it. So, <laughs> so you said something about team, and that's something yeah. we have the only hip hop show here. Um, it's something that we value. We've been doing for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, always sometimes you know being a team, everybody's not gonna walk the same way, feel the same way, think the same way. Thanks. You know, and things could go left. So when things do go left, what's something that K three and the team and your team? What's something physically you do to bring back everybody? on course well one main thing is like i'm i'm a type of person where at least in my inner circle who i'm working with mm -hmm. i try to keep as much peace as possible because when you're dealing with entertainment and things like this everybody their personalities come out yeah. you know what i mean and so um i mean even now i with investors or my promo team or you know what i mean whoever it's a lot of opinions going around and sometimes i i as as the person that you know we're dealing with i gotta step in and say okay guys let's calm down we gonna get this done and he, sometimes i gotta go out of my way to make somebody on my team happy with another person mm -hmm. or something like that but that's just the name of the game you, you know if you're not uh if you're not fixated to be able to work with situations like that then it's just not gonna work as a team you're gonna run into those barriers where it's hard to work together sometimes because of personalities but you gotta understand the main goal what are we all here for what are we all trying to accomplish and sometimes you gotta humble yourself and ground mm -hmm. yourself back to that point so you can keep it pushing. And I promise we we're gonna get in get into music. Um this is my last surface question before yeah, yeah, we dive yeah. in deep. Um main goal. 
um, we have, you know, we all need to be paid. We would all like to be paid for having fun, doing doing the passions, you know. But I want to talk about goals. Is that you? Let's actually take it personal. If you can answer personally and then ask, answer for more of the general mass, you know. How do you feel about starting your goal? Do you start your goals off based off monetary or wanting to be the biggest whatever or do you start it on just i want to express myself when it comes to your musical career so uh, that's a good question actually um for me i i think it's all perception and it's relative because i can sit here and be like yo my mango i, I need that grammy you know what I mean? That's what I'm shooting for. That horn is yeah, game called yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> the little horn. But at the same time, what 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 you start to realize <clears throat> when you when you start accomplishing these small goals to get to where you're trying to go, you really gotta find your your inner happiness mm-hmm. because you can get a Grammy and not be happy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can you could have five million dollars and not be happy. Yeah. So it's just like you have to find things through your journey that makes you happy. Um, and and that's and that's my goal. Like uh, I'm I'm hoping and you know I pray that through my journey as I develop further in the career and things like that, that I find happiness and I find, I find peace within myself and with those around me because like my uncle always told me, man, it's just like when you're on your deathbed, hmm. are you glad? Are you, are you satisfied? Are you content with the decisions that you made in life? So if content, you, if, yeah, word. yeah. So if you, if you made horrible decisions to get to where you're going, was it really, you know what I mean? What, like was surgery, it, horrible decisions? Like robbing a bank? Listen. Whether whether you boot ganging, whether you boot ganging or or getting your nose refilled, you know, whatever the case may be, are you content? Are you content? And and that's something, um, and again, I've been having some great conversations with Cam, so shout out to you, Cam. But she she said her mother used to always tell her that just be you. Yeah. The money will come. Yeah. You know, and that's something that I've always thought of that's always something i've always lived my life on but i've never had the perfect words to say that yeah so be you if you're watching be you and the money will come don't do nothing crazy if you want to dye your hair you can if you want to get all the extra shit you can if it's you but if it's not you then kind of shy away from it a little bit and what we are going to stop doing is shying away from this music we (laughs) want to talk to you k3 you know this is the only hip-hop show and we touch all things from pulse we touch all things from (laughs) hip-hop politics we want to talk about financial literacy shout out to i for bringing that to the to the table so we want to talk about most importantly your ep coming out we got chris the ep app Apple Music, I, I don't want you to say it because I hate when artists be like Spotify, <laughs> so I'm going to say it for take you. Take it, take it. We got Chris, the EP, right now, the official K3, out on every platform you can find. Apple Music, Tidal, we got Spotify, we got, is iTunes still a thing or did they throw that away yet? I don't know. Let us know something. I don't know. Apple Music, yeah. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever y'all going to do. So <laughs> Apple Music, yeah. any major platform, you on Pandora, right? Pandora. Pandora, we got everything. YouTube music, tap in. Anybody, y'all know how we do. Anybody that step on this stage, this platform, that shout out to the poet, shout out to Morris Media, and happy belated Father's Day to Morris Media. We want to definitely go back in time and wish that, and then come right back and say that we gonna hold you down if you fucking watch us every Sunday six to seven. You see them, follow them, comment, follow. engage, interact with all the guests that we come here because we want to build a family together, a network of people, so we can take over this city and then eventually this motherfucking world. Man. LP, talk to me. Uh, we got a record from K3. So, uh, what, what is what is your favorite record on on the on this um, project? Ah man, my favorite record is probably uh, "Ordinary Love." Um, it's kind of like it ain't it ain't too up tempo but it's still a bop man you know what i mean it, it got a really catchy hook um it kind of brings you back to like the 90s uh that time group. alone shit yeah r&b music with a little kick to it um it's, it's, it, it just goes i got i mean i don't know that's hard but ordinary love is probably probably the one for me uh we're gonna go ahead and play that when we come back from the break so uh, stay tuned. That was a t- that's a dope record. Man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I told you it's catchy. Yeah. Very catchy. Wow. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the only hip hop show. 
I don't feel right saying squad today, but we gonna hold it down. So welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. Me, LP, pressing them goddamn buttons, and K3. Well, that's hard. Me, LP, K3. Hey. Y'all know where y'all at. Every Sunday, 6 to 7, we here. We're going to do our thing. Happy BET Weekend, LA. Hold it down for your goddamn self. Take as many selfies as you need to. Get your clout game up. Get your followers up. Get your business cards. Make sure you downtown LA. Make sure you got your albums out there. Make sure you got anything you need. Shout out to Trap Kitchen, Monty Blanco for getting that truck. Having yeah. everybody in the hood put on their best outfits to come and get that fried rice, which is fire. I had it this weekend right after the concert. L.A. is fucking booming right now. Definitely. And we can't even go further without asking you, K3. Yeah, yeah. You've been here all weekend. You come here every month. Why the fuck you ain't moved here yet? <laughs> What's up? The team uh, is out here. Honestly, man, um, uh, my kid is still in Indianapolis. Okay. Boy or girl? Uh, uh, boy, how old? He's six. Yep. Oh, you a real one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. What's his so, name? His name is Kai. Kai. Yeah. Shout out to Kai. So, um, I mean, I, f- I feel like I'll, I'll eventually be out here. Um, I just want to stability in in my life is is very important. Um, I feel like you can't just do things without some type of plan to where it all makes sense you know what i mean and lebron I, and yeah, i'm maybe, uh, never mind. <laughs> and i'm also a strong believer in um taking things at your own pace man i, I could easily just come out here and just be out here yeah. you know what i mean but um right now i'm blessed with a situation where i can come and go when i please so um i'll take advantage of that and then you know that's that's what i'm doing so almost a couple years I, Let him come hoop I, out here. I you know, be that long. Just a little hard. Right. Yeah, come on, <laughs> man. Since you, you know, we got BT weekend, you know. But yeah, BT <laughs> weekend. We're gonna discuss some nominees, and I promise you, it's gonna tie all in. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. congratulations to Cardi B for winning Album of the Year BT Award. Shout out to you, darling. I loved your album. I was fighting with it in the Grammy before all the Nipsey stuff happened. I hear um, the Nipsey instrumental in the background, but we were in the studio arguing with people, and we played Amazing's video earlier. But we were arguing like, "Yo, album for album, was Cardi's album better than Nipsey's?" and Everybody was picking Nipsey's, but fast forward, the Grammys happened and then this happened. Yeah. So what we want to start doing, like YG said, if we really feel this way about certain stuff, make your voice heard. Yeah. You need to tweet. If you really, really love Nipsey the way you said you did after he passed, take the time to tweet niggas when they're alive. Yeah. Everybody's right. dissecting his Twitter now and yeah. post, like, you know, It's like do that shit I don't want to have to get Nipsey my nigga For niggas to listen to the shit that I, I've said yeah. That I've written down And so we're going to go into this EP First off Again congratulations for, to Cardi B For album of the year yeah. But if you can break down how one What's the difference between that EP and the LP You know And what made you choose to do An EP opposed to an LP so um, the reason why I did the EP is because um, right now, at least with the way that the industry is going with artists and their albums, it's only to me it's only certain people that can put out full albums. You know what I mean? Um, to and have people listen to them. Yeah, because okay. the thing is, it's just like right now, you know, we streaming singles. You know what I mean? But and barely. Yeah, we but should, yeah. yeah. So it's just like for you to put. People, people forget like yeah. these songs. We we pay for these songs. You okay. know what I mean. We 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 put in work. We you know we writing. We're we're doing all this. So it, it doesn't make sense business wise to put for me right now. From, speaking from my perspective, for me to put 15 songs on an album when I have a solid six that I know people will stream over and over again because it it resonates. Genius and strategic. So, yeah. So that's why um, I went ahead with the EP. Um, and also with that being said, it's just like when I feel like I'm at a, a point where I could put on like a bigger production, you know what I mean? Like as far as a live instrument and things like that, then I could probably game changer. Yeah, that's game changer. And then you probably put more into the project mm-hmm. and things like that. But people don't realize it's a lot of money when you actually do anybody can record on garage band and put it up on, you know what I mean? On, on Apple Music, you know, that's nothing for, for twenty five dollars. But when you really like putting money into a project that you you know you're passionate about, 
you actually putting a lot of money into it. And time. Yeah. So and mental and spiritual and lyrics and truth yeah. and thought man. Yeah. We artists lives matter. I can't <laughs> I can't say it enough. Yeah. They matter damn near more than shout out to Trump or whatever. Shout out to any politicians, but everybody gave Kanye flack when he said that Kim may be a little bit more influential than Michelle. Mm-hmm. And yeah, whatever, we all know that Kanye is a little bit um, more outspoken than the rest of us. But when you really break down and look at the words in the in the atmosphere, he's right. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the celebrity, the artist, the people who have the social say-so are really going to be the saviors of our time when we get our act right so i want to ask you two questions yeah as an artist what do you feel like your responsibility is to this crazy culture and world that we have and then secondly if you can follow that up with why did you name the album chris all right yeah so um my responsibility i I probably would have to say is and i and i know I, I i hit on this topic a lot of times but as i get older it's really starting to hit home with me but uh, you know i watch the breakfast club a lot mm-hmm. and you yeah, know charlamagne talks about you know mental health and it's just like what my, what i feel like my responsibility is is just like for me coming from from the from the hood and stuff like that I feel like we got to stop making excuses for stuff. 100. And, you know, t- start taking responsibility for 100. our actions and stop blaming it on PTSD all the time. 100. Stop blaming it on depression all 100. the time. Stop blaming it on somebody else. Race. 100. So, yeah, race. So it's just like we, you know, as a, as a black community, we still have our hardships and we're going to continue to have those 100. hardships. But at the same time, we can't go out and rob the bank and then blame it on the white man. You know what I mean? We can't we, we can't have kids and not take care of them. You know, I, I feel like there's a, there has to be a sense of responsibility. No matter how you feel. Yeah, that's that's just what it is. We we have to be responsible for our actions and um, and understand that you know we can work to be a better better individual and better for our communities because I see so many young kids right now. Crazy, smoking <laughs> weed and popping pills and Cussing. things like that. And and, and 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 parents is taking their kids to doctors talking about my 13 year old is depressed. Depressed? Nah, man, something ain't right in the home. You know what I mean? Something ain't right. Some responsibility I feel like is lacking so much today. So what what I want to do is just to make sure that besides you know away from the music stuff is just to make sure that you know the 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 upcoming generation is really taking responsibilities and understand that you got to work, you got to grind, you got to be determined to be somebody. Not you ain't got to be famous. And you bullshit know, is gonna happen. Yeah, bullshit is gonna no happen. No matter what. So, that's and the what that EP is. is Chris. What's yeah, up? Yeah. So the EP um, is Chris. So, kind of funny story. Can I guess? Go for it. Go is for Chris it. your first name? No, nah, it's my middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, what happened? What, how'd you determine? So, um, well, well, my middle name is Christopher. Okay. Uh, but um, what happened was, is when I was in high school. I went to a really, really big high school, but I was real social. So um, it was on the campus. So you popping? So, so I'm. <laughs> You call it Don't be my nigga. <laughs> so um, I was always, I was always moving around in everybody's faces. You know what I mean? Just wilding, and everybody's just like, man, you just crisscrossing around campus all the time. So nice. people started calling me Crisscross Christopher. Um, and then uh, after that, Chris came, and it just kind of stuck. And then um, so uh, Chris was me developing myself as an artist. I knew I wanted to be a singer and entertainer, and, and a push for that. And um, that's where Chris came from. Chris and didn't you play a Crisscross instrumental LP too? Didn't you play a crisscross instrumental too? Earlier? Oh, he like nah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a synchronicity. You know how that worked. Yeah. So I, I want to just take a time. We about to go to break. Yeah. Your EP is out. Six songs. Yep. You said your favorite was Ordinary Love. I want you to take some time. Look into the camera. The camera's yours. The mic is yours. Just express what you want people to take away. Where can they find it? And then take us right on to a break. Yeah, yeah. So um, first and foremost, social media, hit me up, man. I always say in my interviews and things like that, I'm an approachable, approachable person. Um, shoot me DMs, you know, comments, tweet me, man. I always respond. Social media is under, uh, official underscore K3. And then um, what else you say? 
Uh, what you want? What can they expect from your album? Expect from the album, yeah, from yeah. the EP, from Excuse the EP. Me. So uh, when I did this EP, I really just wanted to um, diversify the. Is that a word? Diversify? Hell yeah, diversify. It on, is on the only <laughs> hip hop show. I want to diversify the the album a little bit. Um, I didn't want to just stick with a whole bunch of turn up music, and I didn't want to stick to a whole bunch of R and B music. So I kind of mixed it in, like ordinary love. Like I was saying, it's kind of smooth, but it got but a little, it's a little yeah, it got a little, a little ride bump, to yeah. it. So. Um, I just want to mix it up, man. I got people. I got a song for the weed smokers. I got a song for gang, the gang. ladies. Got a song for the turn up, and I just wanted it to be me. You know what I mean? I didn't let anybody uh, tell me what to do on the album. Most of it was engineered by myself. So uh, the only way. Yep, yep. If you do it yourself, can't nobody tell you shit else. So um, yeah, expect that from the album. You're gonna get some good tracks from it. Chris, out now. K3, every platform. Y'all heard me go through the list fucking earlier. So type Damn. it in your phone right now. Official K3 on Instagram. I want to take a personal time to just thank DJ Head, Chuck Thanks. Dizzle, anybody in LA. Nick Cannon got a new radio show. We are yeah. starting a brand new culture, and the truth is going to find the light. As many times as you keep putting mics in front of these great artists' face, we have truth to speak, and everybody needs to listen. LP, we got a break. Talk to me. All right, we're going to play... Um Another K3's um, song, which is uh, 100 Bands. Yeah, the single. Yeah, that's the main single right there. Um, we'll be right back in Free Brick. Squat! Uh, welcome back to the Hip Hop Show with the Hip Hop Squat. Squat it! Um, You've been taking off your shirt a lot lately, bro. What's up with you? Um, first of all, this is a I'm a villain music video. That, everybody loves this music. <laughs> I love that song. So it's it's my first single off the Executioner album. It's still available, and you guys can actually tune it out. So, uh, but yeah, you didn't yeah. have a shirt on, though, though. And then you just posted something on your timeline, and you didn't have a shirt on this week too. What's up? With, what's up with you? You a sex symbol? Look, he said, "Why the fuck not?" What the fuck is he talking Bro, about? Bro, don't act like you didn't know. You posted a picture with the six pack all out. You don't know what I'm talking about now. That that's a myth, bro. Oh, <laughs> so you you a genius, man. All right, say less, myth. say less. No, nah, I'm just playing. No, uh, no, that was a throwback picture I did took back in the day. It was about sexy about spec, but um, it did not. I took it down. Fuck that shit. But uh, <laughs> anyways, back to an interview. What's up, K three? I'm chilling, man. Glad to be here, man. And again, I appreciate I appreciate y'all for having me here today, man. So. We appreciate yeah, man. you. Now, other bands is a dope, man. It's a banger, right there. I appreciate man. that. Appreciate that. Man. Hey, I have a question. So, how's the production like? Because I, I don't know if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Was that a sample what I heard during during that during that single? Uh no, that wasn't a sample. I, what I did was is um, I I put a little twist on it and, and did a little MJ ins- mm-hmm. inspiration on it, so it kind of with me doing that with that that type of instrumental it sound it sounds like it could be a sample, but yeah. I think I think me putting that MJ inspiration on it is where that 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 feel comes from, right? So. Um, but I did that on purpose. <laughs> okay, because it sounded like Anita Baker a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't Anita know the, t- the song. The t- I think no. I, I actually think I know what you're talking about. Because yeah, um, it sounded like that. Song. I said that's hard. It's not the same melody, but I right. think I think yeah. uh, the producer used the same plugin, whatever, whatever. Yeah, they something. Call, yeah, whatever they Some use. That shit. sound, whatever sound it is. I think they use that same sound. But he I, would I know. know he the about. engineer. Yeah. If you ever need an engineer, brother. Hey, my dad. Hey, sick. Hey, what's up with that real song? Hey, never mind. We'll talk about that after camera. <laughs> hey, listen. Thank about? y'all for tuning in to the Only Hip Hop Show. Shout out to Aisha Nubian at the at the uh, BET Awards. I was about to say something else, but we gotta wait for that. I was about <laughs> to say something else. Keep shout out quiet, to the BT Awards. Shout out to Aisha Nubian. Shout out to What It Do Nubian. Season 3, I believe she's on. Shout out to Kiefer Smotherland, the world's renowned DJ. Shout out to everybody that has and contributed. Damn, her looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Jesus, her. Listen, if you're doing music, if you're an artist, man, I want to give a personal shout out to you from the bottom of my heart. I love you, man. I understand you. I'm here. I support you. Yeah. And... As artists, since we say, signed our name in blood, saying that we love this shit. Not literally. Right. <laughs> since we dedicated our life to music, 
um, it's really all about making sure you know one, you're gonna go through hell. Yeah, man. Two, the best artists go through hell, make it all the way through, and they're powerful enough to express it to everybody else that's going through hell. Yeah. So with that responsibility, we're closing, we're, we're landing this plane, this only hip-hop show. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah. I want to ask you, what's your studio process? You're a singer. I want to know how you warm up your vocals. One, go yeah. ahead and let me know, and then let me know what you need in that studio session to make it magical. <laughs> A lot of people ask that. Um, so uh, one thing that I always I try to do before I record is to uh, get a jog in, open up my vocal passages, breathe. Hey, breathing when you're recording, everything. Yeah. Um, so I try to get a jog in and get my breathing right, um, and then um, for every session, I try to. You got a six pack? Yeah. <laughs> no. Are right, we getting it? We can end the show right here. <laughs> Niggas with six pack, they they make me hot. You feel me? <laughs> Hey, but I, I listen. I I I work out a lot, a hey, lot. So I I worked for it. I worked for it. I'll be on the gram. You you put your workouts on the gram. You that guy? Nah, nah, nah. All right, cool. No, no, well, just no. tap in with me and let me know. Make sure I stay inspired <laughs> with my workout. Yeah, but um, other than that, um, I always got a candle lit. That's just my vibe. Um, and then uh, some. A lot of times I'm doing uh recording in my home, so I got lights going and stuff like okay. that. Get the dim lights dim. I need I need I gotta. Bring out my inner prince, you know what I mean? So, uh, bro, so yeah, man, lights. As long as you ain't got no prince pants, we are high. Hey, I'm not rocking that. Got, <laughs> and I know you said you got a song for the weed smokers. Are you 420 friendly? Uh, technically, yeah. I don't, I don't smoke weed often. Mm-hmm. Um, when I say often, it's probably like a once out of two, three weeks. When you come to Cali, you type shit. Hey, shout out to the Cali, the peer pressure, and the good OG Kush that we do celebrate on this yeah, coast. Man. I'm trying to get Leron to sign over to the dark side, but we're going to get him one day. First but, of all, I am the dark side. Look, in the dark. <laughs> I don't know about all that we smoke. Don't light me up weed. in the dark. Yeah, man. YG, we love you. Anybody we- repping the West Coast and BET, I, I-, I want to say I love you. Thank you. I want to beg that you be smart because we don't need any more headlines for any more bad news. No trouble. We don't need any more funerals. But I'm going to walk the fuck off. The stage is yours, K3. Say whatever you want to say. Wait, do whatever wait, you want to do. Wait, 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 wait. We got two minutes left. That's the perfect. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Talk to me. I got I to gotta get this out there, man. Because, Go ahead. Uh, this has been a long time. I mean. It's the infamous question that I have always asked of all our guests. So, all right. So, K3, how do you want to be remembered? How I want to be remembered? I'm gone. <laughs> you going to leave me out here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I want to be remembered um, as, the, as, as the guy that just was counted out. You know what I mean? Even with me growing up in Indianapolis and that not being a, a, a hub for music, I, I wasn't the, your, your drug dealer, you know what I mean? So I wasn't bringing uh, bands in to support my music. I really was having to get down and dirty and, 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 and really grinding it out, you know what I mean? Whether that's networking or not getting any sleep, any rest or, or anything like that. Like, you can do it. You can do it, you know what I mean? And it's just like, my friends, they still surprised to this day that I've I've come as far as I have, and something. And quite front, quite frankly, I am too. But at the same time, I'm not surprised because I really put my foot down and and, and was grinding hard. So if you want to be successful, stick to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Stop trying to be the jack of all trades. So I, I want to be remembered by just a, just a hard worker, man. A good a good guy. You know, I, I care for my people. You know what I mean. And that's that's really it. Yeah, man. As as I uh, I pretty much inter- uh, interrupt Sean's. Uh, he was about to tell you like anything you wanted to say to the crowd or anything that we missed we didn't talk about. Just you got the floor is yours. Oh man, uh, man I, like I told him, I, I think we good. We we he hit a he hit a lot of good points. Um, I just want to make sure that you know if there's other people out there that want to you know figure out how to get more into music and things like hit me up, man. I can help. Uh, I ain't gonna fly you out to LA or no shit like that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> but um, but you know I, I I help man because I know I had a hard time getting help. I had to do a lot of persuading, you know what I mean, a lot of convincing. Mm-hmm. So I know that can be very challenging. So yeah, official underscore K three, hit me up. <laughs>